What's up everyone, my name is Gazzabi. Welcome back to the vlog, very quick introduction. Look, I am heading back to LA on the 20th of September. I'm super excited, I'm going for 23 days. I'm gonna make 23 vlogs, I'm going purely to make content, I cannot wait. On to today's session, it is actually one of my recent LA trips. I lost the last two vlogs and couldn't release them. I was absolutely devastated. And then a couple of days ago, the laptop they were saved on started working again. So I can now finally release them. They're absolutely fantastic. They are a few months old, but they're worth releasing because they're so good. Today is the first of the two sessions that I'm gonna release. Really hope you guys enjoy. Let's check it out. All right, guys, in we go, heading in 30 minutes late today. This is a 1 p.m. set start time for this game, and I still can't be on time for it. I start off the day by almost getting bluffed out of $10,000 right away. The player in C8 throws me a 10k brick and asks for chips in exchange. I say, yeah, sure, and happily take the chips out of my bag and send them across the table. He smiles and tells me to look closer at it. And it's a fake brick. There's a couple of hundred dollars on the outside and nothing but paper on the inside. Thankfully, he didn't take my chips off of me and leave the casino. But my God, did I fall for it. So our first hand of the day is a PLO hand. I've called a $500 river bet with trips and a flush. I somehow lose this $1,500 pot, but I don't really care about the pot. The best part of this hand is the dealer photobombing me so he can make the vlog absolutely class. Let's check this clip out. That's impressive. Some I losing did here. You get, you get the dealer? No, no, no. You no. <laughs> <laughs> did it! You did it! Dealer, give him an ace. <laughs> all right, on to some no limit hold'em now. It's what we're all here for. And for our first no limit hand of the day, I'm in the small blind with pocket kings. The straddle is permanently on just now. The cutoff is called for $20, the button calls as well, and I raise it on up to $130. The cutoff is going to make the call, the button gets out of the way, and we go heads up to the flop, ace, nine, five with two spades. There's always an ace when I've got pocket kings. I decide to continue with a bet of $100, definitely some value to be had, and my opponent makes the call. The turn is the deuce of clubs, I decide to just check it on over to my opponent, see what he decides to do. And he decides that he wants to bet $200. I'm not about to fold pocket kings just yet. We might be ahead. He might be bluffing. He might even be value betting worse. So I do make the call. The river is an offset seven. I checked my opponent. He just checks it on back. Bit of hope. But unfortunately, I'm going to lose to his ace four offsuit down $880 after this hand. But it's a good gambly table. And I'm going to show you guys just how gambly it is here by sticking on the $80 straddle one time. Absolute gamble from me. Looking down here at king seven offsuit, the $20 straddle is going to call. The $40 straddle is going to call as well. And I just check. Three ways to the flop. It is king five deuce all diamonds. Action is going to check to me. I bet out for $100. And both players are going to make the call. The turn is an offsuit three. It checks to me. And I decide to just slow down here. Kind of pot control with just a weak top pair. I just check it on back. The river is an eight, which is the fourth diamond on the board. Again, it checks to me. I'm, of course, not betting here. I just check it on back. And the $40 straddle is going to scoop in this pot. He's got Jack Deuce with the Jack of Diamonds. Big, big pot there because of the triple straddle. Like I say, the game is very gambly. I'm down $1,150 so far. Can't seem to really win a hand, but let's ramp up the gambling even more with a full round of PLO double board bomb pots. These are really, really hard to vlog and can be kind of boring to watch, so we'll skip ahead. But there is one fantastic hand. I've got 9754. I'm facing a pot size bet on the turn for $600. My opponent leaves himself $100 behind, and I say to him, I mean, I have a pair of fours on both boards, but I might gamble with you. Do you know what? I'm in a gambling mood. Let's do it. That's me. That's me. I have a straight and a flush. Absolutely wild round there. I end up being only down $315 for the day after it finishes. And back to no limit hold and we go. Next up, I'm in the middle blind with king queen suited. The straddle is on and after a few limps, I put the raise in to $150. Under the gun is the only caller. We go heads up to the flop. It is jack six deuce rainbow. I decide to see about here. I've got two overs, all the backdoor draws. I bet out for $150 and my opponent calls. The turn is a rainbow seven and I decide to bet again here. Having two over cards to the board is really nice. I bet $325, just praying I can take it down right here right now. But again, my opponent makes the call. The river is an offsuit five. 
and I decide to just wave the white flag and check. My opponent quickly checks back. What's he got? Yep, standard normal hand, total cooler. He's got seven four of spades. Really didn't expect to see that. How am I not up infinite in this game? Not even sure how much I'm down after this hand, but alas, the grind goes on. Next up, I've got pocket fives in the big blind. The three of hearts has been exposed pre-flop for this hand. Really important piece of information. The middle blind is going to call. I call from the big blind and the straddle checks. We go three ways to the flop. It is four, three, deuce, rainbow. Not a bad flop here for pocket fives. So when it checks to me, I bet out for $50. The the straddle folds, but the middle blind check raises me. He makes it $200 to go. I've got the open-ended straight draw and versus this guy, probably the best hand. So I go ahead and make the call. The turn is the deuce of diamonds, flush draw now possible. Pretty good card though, if you ask me. My opponent is going to bet again for $250 and there's nothing else I can do here. I go ahead and make the call. The river is the king of diamonds. Don't love the backdoor flush getting there, but I don't think he's going to have too many river flushes here. My opponent bets again for $700 and this is a bit of a gross spot but given I blocked so many straights and the three was exposed so less full houses for him and this guy is a loose aggressive goose I make the call show me a bluff one time nope he's got four deuce offsuit this is a classic cooler for me and now I'm down $1,800 for the day but the game is really good really gambly let's see if we can get out the hole next up I've got king jack suited on the button under the gun calls for $20 I raise it on up on the button two players out the blinds are going to make the call and under the gun calls as well nice hand in position and a bloated pot let's smash this flop dealer Oh my god, it comes down 8-6-5 with two hearts. What is happening today? I can't connect with any hands and can't win any nice pots. Under the gun leads out for $300. I, of course, just fold. Bit of a bleed, but let's keep it going. Next up, I've got Queen Jack offsuit under the gun. This is a standard fold, but in this game, you better believe that I am raising this under the gun. The small blind makes the call. The big blind makes the call. And the flop comes down. Ace, King, 10. That's what I'm talking about. I bet out for $125 because who cares what the solver does in a game like this? The small blind is going to make the call. The big blind folds and the turn is a fairly innocent seven of hearts. I decide to keep betting, of course. I bet out for $325, praying my opponent wants to continue. And sure enough, he does make the call. The river is another seven. Really not worried about that. He should have almost no full houses here. I decide to bet $850 on the river. It's a tiny bit less than an all-in. I've got my reasons for not just announcing all-in. It's a tiny bit less than all-in. And my opponent goes deep into the tank after I bet here. I am praying he makes the call. And he does. He puts the chips in. I show my straight. And he actually turns over ace 10 suited. Bit of a nasty flop for him there. First real pot of the day coming my way here. Only down about $1,000 so far now. Let's keep it going. Next up, I've got ace jack off suit on the button. The cutoff limps in. Lots of limping today. Like I say, it's a really good game. I'm going to raise on the button. I make it $60 to go. Not sure why I've gone so small here in hindsight. And sure enough, the middle blind is going to be induced by my small raise. He makes it $220 to go. The limper is going to get out of the way. Action is back on me. And I've got a nice four bet bluff hand here. And the middle blind is a really solid aggressive reg. So I put in the four bet. I make it $500 to go. Getting a little spicy here this hand as my opponent makes the call. We go heads up to the flop. Nine, three, deuce, rainbow. Not exactly what we were looking for here. But an easy C bet in position. We're going to bet really often on a board like this. I bet $350 planning to just blast the turn and blast the river if I need to. But he just folds and my little adventure doesn't end up blowing up in my face like it sometimes does. The game is pretty big, you know, lots of straddles and double straddles. And if I'm honest, I'm playing too loose today. Bleeding plenty back with some loose pre-flop calls, lots and lots of small pots going against me. And some hands which are well played, but just not going my way. Just like in this hand, I've got ace nine suited in the big blind. No straddle for this particular hand. The cutoff makes it $35 to go. The button calls, middle blind calls. And I squeeze it on up. I make it $175 to go. The cutoff folds, but button and middle blind are both going to make the call. And we see the flop come down. Queen, six, deuce, rainbow. I've got the backdoor flush draw and it's a disconnected board. So I see back here for $200. And the cutoff snap jams it in my face for $1,200. I sigh. I fold. Standard hand. Weird day so far today. Swinging about. Currently down 2.2k after about five hours of grinding. 
But having a lot of fun, like I said, it's a really good game. Everyone's laughing and joking. Next up, I'm in middle position with Jack-10 suited. Straddle has unfortunately died. We're just playing 5-5-10 now. Under the gun raises to $30. I make it $100 to go next to act. And then the low jack is going to put in the cold four bet here. Big sigh. The cutoff is actually going to cold call the cold four bet though, which means when it folds back round to me, I can now call as well. Let's go. We go three ways to the flop. It comes down jack nine eight with two clubs. Not a bad flop here for jack ten. I don't think our range wants to play any leads here, so I check the cold four better checks and the cutoff checks as well. The turn is the deuce of hearts, two flush draws on board now. And I think when it checks round on the flop, we can for sure have the best hand here. So I go for some value. I bet out for $275. Happy to see the four better fold. Maybe he checks aces sometimes to like check jam or whatever. But the cutoff is going to stick around. He makes the call. Heads up to the river. It's a three. Nothing changes. And I go for some thin value with my top pair. I bet $300. Trying to get a crying call from something. Which I do. My opponent makes the call. I show my hand. And he can't beat my top pair. To be honest, no idea what he had there. But now only down $1,300. Like I say, swinging about here. And getting back to even is in my sights. Maybe these kings will get the job done. Early position is limped in. The button raises to $110 and I put in the re-raise. I make it $250 to go from the small blind. This is a very small re-raise, but the button is short stacked and I want to keep early position in the hand anyway, which is why I've decided to choose the size I have. Only the button is going to make the call here and the flop comes down a very safe looking 7-4 deuce with two clubs. Before I can even act, the button says he's all in out of turn. I just say call. The dealer's totally fine with it. We decide to just run it once. I tell him I've got pocket kings. The board runs out very safely for my pocket kings. And he turns over pocket eights. Really nice low flop for me there. And now I'm only down $750. Can we get out the hole and back into Profitsville for the day? Well, we've got one last hand to do it. Let's see if we can. I've got ace, queen, and the straddle for the last hand. Early position limps in for $20. The button raises to $120. The big blind calls, and I put in a healthy squeeze here. I make it $500 to go. Just trying to kind of thin the field here a little bit. The button is going to make the call, and then the big blind shows his hand to middle position before he folds. We go heads up to the flop, and there's an ace in the window. Lovely stuff. The big blind now starts pointing at the ace and muttering to the guy he's just shown his cards too i'm very confident he's got an ace which then means it's less likely the button will call my c bet because he's less likely to have top pair so i decide to use this information to my advantage and, and check it on over to my opponent the button just checks it on back and we see the nine of spades roll off i look back to make sure i've got the queen of spades in my hand and i delay c bet for 400 dollars the button makes a very quick call after i bet the turn here and we see the loveliest all suit mama sita roll off on the river to give me top two pair we are too deep to shove here, so I decide to bet out for $1,100, trying to get a crying call from something. But after about 10 seconds, my opponent just lets it go. I am leaving immediately after this hand, so I show my cards, telling him he made a good fold as I drag in this lovely pot to finish off the night. Not quite out the hole for the day, down less than $200. Not long after this hand, though, I'm going to rack up and head to the cashier, so close to even. But given I was down about 2.5k at my worst, I will absolutely take it. No outro film because I was very late for my soccer game. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Be sure to hit the sub button. Until next time, take it easy.